Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. I'm here in Whistler. It's about a month away from the first day of the season. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 20 tricks you can practice before your first day on the mountain. Practicing tricks before the season starts is an awesome way to just start thinking about tricks and it's great motivation and inspiration for all the tricks you wanna learn this season. For the off-season training, you only need a couple of things. Your board, a piece of carpet or a mat, and I've also got a half foam roller if you want to do training for rails and boxes. The first tricks you can practice are nose and tail presses. These are a great way to get your legs warmed up and get your balance going again. For the tail press, you really want to think about moving your hips over the tail of your board, bending your back leg and trying to get deep into that press. And then for the nose press, you're moving your hips over the nose of your board and bending your front knee. You can build off those two tricks by doing ollies and nollies. For the ollie, you're putting your weight into the tail of your board, springing off your tail, bending your knees in the air to get your board level, and then coming down nice and flat. The nollie is a bit more difficult, but springing off the nose of your board, bending your knees in the air to get your board level, and then coming down nice and flat. I find that doing ollies and nollies off the flat ground are actually harder than when you're riding. So by doing them off the flat, it's really great practice for when it comes time when you can do them on the mountain. The next two tricks you can practice off the flat ground are front and backside 180s. For the front side 180, you're pulling your upper body back slightly, then rotating forward as you jump into the air to get your board around 180 degrees. For the backside 180, you're gonna face forward slightly and then rotate backwards as you jump your board into the air, bending your knees and landing that backside 180. Another thing you can practice with your board static on the ground is just getting into different grabs. You can practice tail grabs, nose grabs, indie and mute. Grabbing your board in a static position is a great way to build your muscle memory. You'll know exactly what that grab should feel like for the next time you come off a jump and you're in the air. Another fun trick to practice is the tripod. Putting your hands down behind the tail of your board, stretching your body out, and getting your board pointed straight up into the air. This is a trick that's harder to do on the flat ground than it is on the slope. So this is a great way to prepare yourself and practice for when you're on the mountain. Two more fun tricks to practice are front and backside shifties. You can do shifties anywhere as you ride in the air on a jump and then they're also the same movements that you need for front and backside board slides. For the front side shifty, you're twisting your body so the toe edge of your board is facing forward. I like to think about twisting my lower body and upper body in the opposite direction so I can get nice and twisted. You can then also untwist to get your board going straight again. For the backside shifty, you're turning your board so that your heel edge is facing forward and you're doing a similar twisting motion where you're twisting your lower and upper body in opposite directions. And I like to think about moving my back hand and back foot away from each other as far as possible to get the most amount of twist. So those are the first 10 tricks you can practice just on a mat or a piece of carpet. The next 10 tricks can be done with a half foam roller or anything that you can think of to simulate being a box or a rail. The first trick you can practice is just the basic 50-50, so hopping on and just getting your board nice and level and staying balanced and then hopping off. This is a great way to challenge your balance and will really help you with your 50-50s. You can make the 50-50 more difficult by adding in the tail or nose press. And for the tail press, you're hopping on and really thinking about moving your hips over the tail of your board, getting into that press, staying balanced before popping off. For the tail press, you can also think about reaching your back hand down towards the tail of your board to help you really get into that press. Same thing for the nose press, hopping on, getting your hips way over the nose of your board. And you can even think about reaching your front hand down towards the feature to get yourself more into the press. Next up, you can do a front side board slide using the same twisting motion that you did for the backside shifty. Thinking about reaching your back hand and back foot away from each other to really get that twist going. 
and then landing with your board level on the feature so that it's perfectly flat and then untwisting as you come off. For the front lip slide, it's a similar motion except twisting in the opposite direction now and then trying to get your board nice and level on the feature and then untwist to come off. Next, you can turn your board around and do the tricks with the feature behind you. And from here, you can practice the 50-50 backside, backside board slides, and also backside lip slides. You can also practice your front and backside 180s off the boxer rail. For the front side 180, hop on level, turn your upper body forward, and then twist to get that 180 around as you come off. For the backside 180, hopping on level again, and then this time you're gonna turn backwards so that as you come off the feature, you can twist the backside 180. Cool guys, so I hope that you'll give these 20 tricks a try. It's a great way to just prepare for snowboarding and get your mind thinking about all the tricks that you wanna learn this season. Let me know if you have any questions about these tricks and I'll see you guys on the snow soon.